What's good, YouTube? Sensational Sasiris here, and I'm back with another Tom Clancy's The Division Vendor Reset video. We're here for March 19th, 2021's Vendor Reset. So let's get right into this and see what we got good for this week. For our first gear items, head over to Camp Hudson. Here, the weapons vendor has an enhanced AUG A3P. For our next gear items, we're still at Camp Hudson. Head over to the gear vendor here, and we got some tactical gloves with the Talent Savage Donner. And also here we got a prototype firearms mod with 253 firearms and 2.50% exotic damage resilience. For the next gear items, head over to the meat locker. Here the weapons vendor has a marine super 90. And then also here we got a loud band break with 18% critical hit damage, 4.50% optimal range, and 5.50% headshot damage. For our next gear items, head over to the base of operations. Here the dark zone gear vendor has a G36 enhanced. Also here we got a prototype performance mod with 2.50% smart cover damage resilience. For our next gear items we're still at the base of operations. Head over to the weapons vendor here we got a high velocity magazine with 7% critical hit chance, 4.50% reload speed, and 4% critical hit damage. For our next gear items we're still at the base of operations. Head over to the gear vendor here we got a prototype performance mod with 3.50% ballistic shield damage. For our next gear items, we're still at the base of operations. Head over to the advanced weaponry vendor in here. We got a lightweight M4. It's not a good roll, but I figured I'd just mention it. We also here got a high velocity magazine with 7.50% critical hit chance, 4% critical hit damage, and 12% magazine size. Next here, we got a mega rifle suppressor with 17% hit shot damage, 3% critical hit chance, and 2.50% stability. For our next gear items, we're still at the base of operations. Head over to the special equipment vendor in here. We got a casting. Next here we got a Historian, we also got a G36C, next here we got a Black Market SAS G12S, next here we got a Spec Ops Mask with the Talent Refreshed on there, we also got an Operator Vest here with the Talent Reckless, next here we got a Tactical Pack with the Talent Inventive, we also got an Omega Rifle Suppressor with 17.50% headshot damage, 4.50% optimal range, and 2% accuracy. For our next gear items, we're still at the base of operations. Head over to the special blueprints vendor. Here we got a military M9 blueprint with a gear score of 256. We also got an electronic vest blueprint with a gear score of 256. We also got an angle grip red blueprint with a power level 34. And also we got a vertical grip foliage green blueprint with a power level 34. For our next gear items, head over to Kerman Station. Here the weapons vendor has a custom M44. And then also here we got a tyrant suppressor with 7% critical hit chance, 4.50% optimal range, and 5.50% headshot damage. For our next gear items, head over to Camp Clinton. Here the special equipment vendor has the Cassidy. Next here we got a Historian. We also got a SOCOM Scar L. Next here we got a double barrel shotgun. Next here we got a Model 700. Next here we got a tactical vest with the talent vigorous on there. Next here we got a prototype stamina mod with 259 stamina and 3101 health. Next here we got a prototype performance mod with 4% seeker mind damage. And also here we got a vertical grip foliage green with 46% optimal range, 2.50% stability, and 2% accuracy. For our next gear items, we're still at Camp Clinton. Head over to the special blueprints vendor, and here we got some stamina knee pad blueprint with a gear score of 256. Next here we got a small laser pointer blueprint with a power level 34. And also here we got a high velocity magazine blueprint with a power level 34. For our next gear items, head over to Wolf's Den. Here the weapons vendor has an M700 tactical. For our next gear items, head over to Autumn's Hope. Here the gear vendor has a tactical pack with the talent Relentless on there. And also here we got a prototype electronics mod with 263 electronics and 3% skill haste. For our next gear items, head over to Madison Stand. Here the gear vendor has a gunslinger vest with a talent rapid. And then also here we got a prototype electronics mod with 260 electronics and 1% critical hit chance. For our next gear items, head over to the last call. Here the weapons vendor has a tactical vector 45 ACP. For our next gear items, head over to the South Paul. Here the gear vendor has a prototype performance mod with 6% sticky bomb explosion radius. For our next gear items, head over to the firewall. Here the gear vendor has a spec ops pack with the talent relentless on there. For our next gear items, head over to the crypt. Here the weapons vendor has a loud vent break with 18% critical hit damage, 5.50% headshot damage, and 3% critical hit chance. For our next gear items, head over to West 31st Street checkpoint. Here the dark zone vendor has a converted SRS. 
And also here we got a C79 scope with 17% critical hit damage, 2.50% stability, and 5% optimal range. For our next gear items, head over to West 34th Street Checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone vendor has a gunslinger vest with the talent Reckless. We also got a prototype performance mod with 4.50% ballistic shield damage resilience. And then also here we got a loud fan break with 17% critical hit damage, 5% optimal range, and 2.50% critical hit chance. For our next gear items, head over to West 39th Street Checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone vendor has a tactical mask with the talent rehabilitated on there. Next here we got a prototype stamina mod with 251 stamina and 1% critical hit chance. And then also here we got a pro red dot sight with 18% critical hit damage, 2.50% critical hit chance, and 2.50% stability. For our next gear items, head over to West 46th Street Checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone vendor has a custom M44. Next here we got a prototype performance mod with 7.50% support station duration. For our next gear items, head over to West 53rd Street Checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone vendor has a Black Market RPK 74E. Next here we got an operator pack with the talent specialized on there. And next here we got an extended magazine with 115.50% magazine size, 3% critical hit chance, and 4% critical hit damage. For our next gear items, head over to East 64th Street Checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone gear mod vendor has a prototype performance mod with 5.50% first aid ally heal. For our next gear items, head over to East 58th Street Checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone gear vendor has a tactical mask with the talent rehabilitated on there. For our next gear items, head over to the Park Ave Checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone weapons vendor has an ACR. Next here we got a SASG-12. We also got a classic M44 carbine. For our next gear items, head over to East 53rd Street Checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone vendor has a military AK-47M. And also here we got a large suppressor FDE with 17% critical hit damage, 6% headshot damage, and 2% accuracy. For our next gear items, head over to East 46th Street Checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone weapons vendor has an M700 Tactical. For our next gear items, head over to East 42nd Street Checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone vendor has a prototype performance mod with 7.50% turret health. For our next gear items, head over to East 40th Street Checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone vendor has a first wave vector 45 ACP. For our next gear items, head over to East 34th Street Checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone vendor has a model 700. Next here we got an operator mask with the talent tenacious on there. And next here we got an angle grip with 13% stability, 4% critical hit damage, and 5% optimal range. For our next gear items, head over to East 31st Street Checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone vendor has a tactical vest with the talent Rapid on there. Next here we got a prototype electronics mod with 262 electronics and 2915 health. And also here we got an Omega rifle suppressor with 18% headshot damage, 3% critical hit chance, and 4.50% optimal range. For our next gear items, head over to DZ2 safe room. Here the Dark Zone gear vendor has a tactical mask with the talent Tenacious. Next here we got a tactical vest with the talent Rapid. Next here we got a Spec Ops pack with the talent Relentless. For our next gear items, head over to DZ3 safe room. Here the Dark Zone weapons vendor has a first wave Vector 45 ACP. Next here we got a Lova C. We also got a SASG-12. For our next gear items, head over to DZ4 safe room. Here the Dark Zone gear mod vendor has a prototype performance mod with 5% sticky bomb explosion radius. For our next gear items, head over to DZ5 safe room. Here the Dark Zone weapon mod vendor has an extended magazine with 118% magazine size, 4.50% reload speed, and 4% critical hit damage. Next here we got Omega Rifle Suppressor with 18% hit shot damage, 2.50% stability, and 2.50% crit hit chance. Next here we got a small grip with 17% critical hit damage, 2.50% stability, and 4.50% reload speed. And also here we got a C79 scope with 19% critical hit damage, 2% accuracy, and 5.50% hit shot damage. For our next gear items, head over to DZ8 safe room. Here the Dark Zone gear vendor has an operator pack with the talent inventive on there. And also here we got some tactical gloves with the talent savaged on there. 
For our next gear items, head over to DZ9 Safe Room. Here, the Dark Zone Weapon Mind Bender has a high velocity magazine with 7.50% critical hit chance, 11.50% magazine size, and 4.50% reload speed. And also, here we got a loud vent break with 19% critical hit damage, 2.50% stability, and 5% optimal range. Alright, everybody, that's it for our Town Clan Seeds the Division Vendor Reset video for March 19th. 2021 vendor reset i hope everybody tuned in to it find them something that they needed smash on that sub and like button y'all appreciate that support and i will see y'all with the next one everybody take care peace